Let's punch this cube. Punch it! Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator. Welcome back to Into the Breach. We've secured the first island. It was relatively easy. We did that with aplomb. But there's no, uh... N nothing special to the first island. We've got the second island with sandstorms. Third island with a bunch of ice and freezing stuff. Fourth island with a bunch of acid. Really, really scary stuff. So, we'll see how it goes. Let's try the second island out. And once you complete the second island, you can actually, um... Go to the final island if you would like to. And we just might, depending how powered up I feel. Uh, currently my power grid is only at 4, which is... <laughs> that's not good. I'm gonna have to do a little bit more work on the power. RST was divided on asking for help. It was viewed as weakness, but the choice is stark. We either ally with you or lose the island. Well, I'm here! Hello there! Hello, children! Hi, Chef! So, I think I'm gonna go restricted area, um, erosion flats, and then one of these spots up here. And we'll end up losing uh, this island for sure, but... Sacrifices must be made. We can't we can't rescue everybody. Defend the prototype Renfield bombs. Well, let's do this one first. Defending solar farms, because we need the electricity. We'll see how we're doing on electricity after this. Um, get my tanks and all my mechs set up. And yeah, those solar farms are in the back row, so they should be relatively easy to defend. Except they do have a wasp who might uh, just fly his happy ass right over. Time pod incoming, so we can get some additional treats. That's gonna be really, really nice. And this is actually a, a threat that I've never seen before. So, that is interesting. It's not attacking, but it does spit these uh, spiderling eggs. So, presumably, I, I want to get rid of these eggs. It's not gonna be a good thing if this egg hatches. So, I'll move my combat mech. Sm can we smash this wasp out of the way? Maybe it's not the thing to do. Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We're sticking with it. Um, if I shoot the egg, it's going to knock into that building. I should just shoot the spider, and then we'll see what happens with the egg. I think that's the right answer. I'm not going to knock him away or anything. We'll just pass the turn and keep our fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, butt clenched. Oh, look at that. A spider has arrived. And he's going to try and eat up that building over there. That shouldn't be too hard to deal with. We've got our artillery parked. So get the fuck out. Blam! Yeah. That was that was worth it. Um, we took out the spider pretty easy. I'm going to go send my combat mech over here. Knock this scorpion dude off of my tank so he can't attack it. And I need to pick up that time, time pod as well. Uh, you might notice that when I'm attacking on these sand tiles, or launching attack at these sand tiles, unlike the forests in the last episode, these sand tiles burst into a giant dust cloud, which basically you can't attack or repair. It's kind of like being in the water uh, while on land. So we want to stay out of the sand clouds for the most part, but it can be relatively useful if you knock your enemies into the, the sand clouds. So, well, we'll make use of it as it, as it happens. And we've got a couple more dudes popping up. There's their special supporting character. So I think that one gives uh, armored ability. Which is gonna be... It's gonna be not nice. Uh, I wanna punch it. I wanna punch it real good. Black. Alright, so now they've lost their armored ability. I'm gonna cancel this buggy guy's attack. Um, but, well... I could also just knock him into my combat mech. And that would work. That would kill it, and we'd get to collect the time pod. So I'm gonna do that. Oh, sorry, Mr. Combat Mech. It happens sometimes. Um, I'm gonna have to knock this guy away. Hmm. Well, well, well. Let's undo that move. I'll knock him this way. No damage done, but that's fine. We're doing what we need to do. Which is basically, uh, protect the solar farms. That is our one and only job, mostly. <laughs> Except the other job. Oh boy. We've got some action going on over here. Let's, uh... Let's keep playing with this guy right here. I'll keep him away from that building. Boop boop. Eventually he's gonna come and try and wrap up this artillery mech, which is gonna be really bad news. So this guy can move four squares. One, two, three, four. 
One, two, three. Hmm. I might have I might have done a bad thing. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and reset the turn. Just because I can. Just because I wanna be safe. So uh let's move this guy back even more. That's really the only difference that I wanted to make, but since he already fired, uh, this is what I can do. This is what I can do. And let's, uh, knock this guy away with a tank. Now he's surrounded by dust clouds, so... If anything is on this, uh, T section, these, this X or Y axis that the tank is on, nothing can hit him back. Oh, but it's over already! Shit, we didn't kill him all. Well, mission is still complete, that's fine. Got a couple additions to the power grid. It's a miracle you kept the Vec from destroying them. Yeah, and I also got a pod. Look at that, that's Isaac Jones. He gets an extra reset turn every battle and a little bit more mech reactor. I've also picked up an extra power core, which is super sweet. Um, maybe I'm gonna increase the health of this artillery. I'd hate to see it go down, so yeah. From two health to four, that is significant. Uh, let's continue on to restricted area. Protect the defense lab, defend the prototype Renfield bombs. And we've got an alpha spider. Jesus. That's not good. I don't like that none too much. Well, we'll put the combat mech over there, tank over here, and artillery. So if that thing launches some webs, uh, we're going to be able to counteract it sort of easily. Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, there it goes. There he is! Alright. I guess that's fine. So, what are we gonna do here? I could uh, just knock everybody away. That might be a good, a good solution to our problem. Hmm. The Spider Queen would take a little bit of damage. Hmm. 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 Well, I'm gonna destroy this. Oh, I can't destroy it. Damn it! All right, let's undo this move. Um. I'm gonna destroy the egg with this. Oh, but the Renfield bomb's gonna move. Damn it! There's no winning! Oh, it's so difficult. This reminds me a lot of Advance Wars. I spent a lot of time just uh, trying to plot the right move to make. So, let's punch the spider in the face. That's what I'm gonna start with. Bam! Alright! Now we can shove him. Hmm. I think that's gonna work nicely shove everything away. So now nobody's making attacks over here. I just have to worry about that spider egg, which is a real pain in the ass, but not much we can do about it this turn. So let's keep it going. We're gonna have so many fucking things on the screen in just a moment. But oh well. It be what it be. And they've got the armored support guy. Whatever that Vex sprang, it locked the, t the servos. Ah, shit. That spider is uh, going to take some damage pretty easy. Oh, boy. This is this is a rough one. I'll tell you that right now. I can't even punch this thing. It's going to knock it into the building. Fart. Well, what can we do? What can we do? I want to get to this, uh, what is it called? A scion. I want to get to the Scion unit! Hmm. We're gonna end up taking some damage here. He's gonna get a Renfield bomb. Oh, this is just terrible. I should just reset the whole battle. Oh, man. Alright. See what happens there. Not a lot! I'm kinda locked in over here. It's not good. Punch that shit out of the way. Mm, this guy's aiming for a building. Ah, I can't shoot. I can't shoot. Shoot! <laughs> oh, man. We're gonna get our butt slammed. Well, it'd be what it be. Let's see what happened. That spider unit is just insane. Oh, God, it hurts! You're there to stop the Vec, not watch them destroy the city. You know what, lady? You know what, lady? Add enough of your fucking lip, huh? Oh, God. This is terrible. This is going really poorly. 
I mean, I think we'll survive. Only two turns left, but... It's a mess. It is a fucking mess. Let's punch this Scion in the face, get rid of that armored bonus that is uh, sort of screwing me over. And... Well, we can knock the spider into that thing. That would be a good idea. Alright, do it. Blam! Oh, we're gonna take a little more damage, though. Hurdy. Really, really hurdy. Another damage to the power grid. So we're under half power. I've said that I was gonna work on getting more power this time around. And it seems I failed. Casualty reports have been filed. God! The grid's kit critical! <laughs> yeah, it has. This is really, really bad. We've got one more turn to go, but there's, there's too many of them. Are we sure this is easy difficulty? <laughs> oh, man. Alright, well... What to do? What to do? What to do? I can knock this lizard out of the way. I think that's a good idea. It's gonna basically neutralize his attack. We'll punch this wasp in the face. Oh no, we've got that fucking... that little buggy aiming at the science lab. Alright. I can do nothing! We're gonna take another hit to the grid. That sucks. This battle has gone horribly. Fucking horribly. Oh boy. Ugh. Jesus. Stop them! Oh no. <laughs> what a mess! One bomb has been lost, but we got a power core from protecting the defense lab. Oh, Jesus. I don't know how I'm gonna do anything. How can I? Oh my. Well, let's uh, slap some more health on this tank for now. I'm gonna go for the one damage because only doing one damage with this, this tank weapon is fucking ridiculous. That's dumb. Let's go to Rust Beach. Defend the train, protect the coal plant, try not to die. Oh my god. I, I don't know how it, how it went south so quickly. But it did. But it do! It's this fucking spider thing. I don't know where it came from. I played this game for like, maybe eight hours, and then all of a sudden we've got spider things everywhere. What is this goo? I don't know, dude! Nobody tells me anything anymore! <laughs> Alright, so this thing's launching goo for fucking three, which is really, really crazy. Um, I'm gonna blast this egg. I think that's... Kinda nice, why not? I'm not gonna move this guy, I'll just move my artillery mech out of the way. This guy's aiming at the train, so if we move him, then uh, yeah. He'll be off-center just a little bit. Uh, this guy's gonna go down to punch that fucking spider thing in the face. One less vec to dispose of! Alright, so let's shove this guy off of the track, since we can't kill him outright. That'll, that'll do fine. Excuse me. Coming through. Pardon me. We gotta be really, really careful. If one building gets hit, that is the end of our game. It's... <laughs> it's over. So the train is, uh, rolling on through. I hear the train a coming, a coming around the bend, and I see the sun shine since I don't know when I'm stuck in Folsom Prison. And time keeps dragging on. Hmm. I don't know how I'm gonna move this guy out of the way. This is so bad. Alright. Let's hit the lizard. We can knock that guy into the dust cloud. Neutralize his attack. I think that's a good start. Hmm. I really wish I could move the lizard out of the way as well. Oh, he was on a sand tile. Good. So he's in smoke. He's not gonna attack either. Let's punch this guy in the face. Blam! Get your shit out of here. And where's this guy aiming? Okay, he's aiming for that building, so... If I can knock him over one... Ah, oh shit. Then we're gonna take damage from the lizard. Well, it's only one damage. I can, I can swing that. Alright, we're good. And then he's gonna die to his burrowing buddy. So... Fingers crossed! I don't know. I don't know how this shit happened. This has just been insane. 
So he died, blocked enemy, and died. Ha ha ha! And now he's wrapped up one of my mechs. That dude wrapped up the train. Oh, fart. This guy's aiming for the tank? So that's not too bad. I can handle that. Let's first free our combat mech. Boop. Alright. And we got a level up as well for our tank pilot. That's pretty nice. I'm gonna punch this dude in the face. Because why not? And then we just need to scooch the, uh, the scorpion fella out of the way of the tank. Yep. That's what we're gonna do. Hooray! I think everything is safe for now. We didn't kill all the Vec again. It's kind of going downhill just a little bit, but I'll take it. Fucking victory's victory, alright? We didn't get any of our buildings hit, so hopefully we'll be able to, to get something back. Protect the coal plant? Check! <laughs> one fucking... <laughs> one, one grid power. Oh lord. Plus two mech HP for the, uh, the tank pilot, so that's super sweet. And then we've got Rust District, defend the terraform or terraform the grassland back to desert. Or destroy two mountains, kill at least five enemies. I'm gonna go for the terraformer. Because this terraformer is able to kill anything that's within its range. It's, it, it comes out uh, really nice. So that's what I'm gonna do. And we'll put that artillery way in the back. So we can hopefully knock it into the terraforming thing. And that guy's running. But there ain't no running from the terraformer! Terraformer! He's gonna punch you in the eyes! Alright, so now we got enough to, uh, blam all of these dudes. Ha ha! I'm gonna go ahead and scoop my tank up. Because this is sand tile now, okay. I do have to get this way, which I think if I aim the terraformer this way, it's gonna get that tank, but we, we ain't gotta move him yet. We're, we're still good. Alright. Is that the end of the turn? I guess so. We good. Don't worry about it. If that scorpion comes over this way, I'll terraform the fuck out of him. <laughs> uh, here we go again. Um, Let's try and move everybody out of the way on this side. I'll put this over here. I can scoot this guy back into the range of the terraformer. Park my combat mech on the sand tile. Boop boop. I'm picking uh, this sand tile instead of this one because this one has water behind it so hopefully I can knock whatever comes out into the water. That would be uh, rather nice. So let's go ahead and terraform now. Yeah! No wonder this island shifts so much. True, true. Alright, so action available. Oh, not for the tank. I thought the tank might need a little repairing, but it don't. He good! Alright, so there's that beetle. It's only got two health. That's gonna be just fine. Maybe I can knock it onto, uh... Onto one of these things. That would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Alright, so do that first. We gotta terraform something. I haven't gone that way yet, so yeah. Let's everybody shift over this way. Terraform this. And we've got one more turn, so I'm gonna have to move all of these guys next turn. And uh, get this part of the map terraformed, but that should be relatively easy, I hope. I really want my, my little star and whatnot. That's always pretty nice. So, yeah. It's gonna be relatively simple. Relatively simple matter here. Just scoot all my dudes out. Terraform! Yeah! Alright, that's it. Killed all the Vec with the help of our friendly neighborhood terraformer. <laughs> and a little bit of power? No, not for this one. Alright. That's fine. Seismic activity incoming! Bleh! Now, uh, a final showdown. Destroy five goos. Protect the corporate tower. Some sort of massive gelatinous creature has been picked up. Whatever it is, don't let it reach the tower. Oh, I hate these things. So this basically splits into two, if you couldn't guess. It's a giant jelly. It's a gelatinous cube. 
it loves slicing weapons. Because, uh, yeah. If you use slice weapon on gelatinous cube, then you end up with two gelatinous cubes. Ain't that right? Um, I can't quite get to that... That spot. That's not good. Let's punch this cube. Punch it! And... Hmm... Well, well, well... I should probably move this, this guy out of the way, yeah? Oh, he already punched the cube. Duh! Alright. Well, let's, uh, scoot him just a little bit, then. How's that? Scooty scoot! Fruity boot! And, yeah, I'll finish that off. Need to get to work on killing some cubes, for sure. But for now, we alright. And that thing does four damage. Wow! The tank can take a hit from it, though, which I find pretty impressive. Um, I'm gonna try and punch that thing. I don't think it's gonna work. I should probably just punch the, uh, the scorpion fella. Well, let's undo that move. If I, if I blast this thing with my artillery, then it's gonna split, and I can try and take care of whatever, whatever it splits into. So, you see, this only has two, so if I punch that, it's gonna become two more, and then... This thing's only gonna do one damage to my tank, so that's fine. I'm gonna kill that, kill that cube, and this is actually gonna die from to an emerging vec, which is super nice. I'm quite satisfied with how this is turning out. Our grid defense is still fucking low, extremely, extremely low. But I think we're gonna do it. We're gonna be just fine, gentlemen. Let's uh, smack this. Blam! Yeah! What you want to do now? Alright, so we're going to finish this right off. This guy's going to die to an emerging Beck, and then all we have to deal with is this uh, one final Beck. Which happens to be a Scion. That is going to be so easy to deal with. So let's go up and punch it in the face. Boom. And that's it. That's it. Don't worry about it. We got it. Another island's completed. Uh, I can't go to the final island yet. I've definitely got to uh, work on the power grid, so we're gonna do a third island for this game. Really, it's it's just fantastic. I love it so much. Self-destruct. Mech explodes, killing self and anything adjacent to the mech. Wow! Repairing one mech affects all mechs. Whoa! I like that a lot! I want it. I want it. I just want it. We'll take a reactor core. I could sell one of my pilots. I'll do Isaac Jones. There you go. And uh, two reactor cores, a little bit of grid power. That'll be nice. I didn't want to spend too much on that. But yeah. Repairing one mech affects all mechs. That's, that's just insane. Let's go ahead and get that going. You're getting system diagnostics. Diagnostics. Um, I also want to increase the damage, like I said, on this guy. Which I can, because he's leveled up and increased his health. Seven health, that's just, that's just overkill. So let's increase the damage of the Taurus Cannon. And, uh, this heavy rocket, I can only use it once per battle, but it does three damage. So I'm gonna have to remember that I have that. Anyways, all the reputation spent, we are done with this island. We didn't save it, um, we really fucked it up quite horribly, if you want me to be honest, but... It turned out okay. We're just fine. We're gonna hit either Island 3 or 4 in the next episode, so please join me for it, friends. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Into the Breach. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Please don't forget to hit uh, like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. We've also got links down in the description, Twitter, Patreon, Discord. If you'd like to support me on one of those, it would be massively, massively appreciated. But I appreciate you uh, supporting me here as well, especially if you watch this far. That's super important. Share the video if you'd like. You know what to do. Why am I telling you? You've been doing this YouTube thing for a while. <laughs> so have I. And I've just gotten into the habit, I guess. Anyways, once again, friends, this has been Into the Breach. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Please join us next week for more. Thank you so much for watching. And until then, friends, bye-bye. See you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again.